Hi, and welcome to Ask a Librarian. My name is Randall Yelverton. I'm the Executive Director of the Peoria Public Library. Wanted to come today to you with some significant information uh, about our reopening. But first, I wanted to thank our patrons for their patience as we have been uh, trying to, uh, you know, uh, try and keep our patrons as safe as possible during this challenging time that we haven't been able to be open. We haven't had that accessibility that we pride ourselves in. Uh, but, you know, we, in order to keep our patrons safe or staff safe, of course, we did have to be shut down for a time. Um, I did want to announce that on July 6th, we will be reopening our libraries. Uh, all locations will be open except our bookmobile. But beginning July 6th, we'll be open for our normal hours. One of our branches, uh, we may have to reduce service by one day due to some of the unique staffing needs that we have as we are trying to uh, follow through on phase four guidelines from the state. It's creating some unique staffing challenges, uh, including additional cleaning and things like that. So we may have to close one of our branches for an additional day. Uh, take a look at our website. Uh, there'll be more information about that coming. But otherwise, on July 6th, we will be opening our library. Now, it is gonna look a little different when you come into the library, so I wanted to let you know about that. As I mentioned, we're going to be uh, following the phase four guidelines as outlined by the state. This will include all masks, uh, I should say, all visitors to the library wearing masks, staff and patrons. Uh, when you come into the library, you need to have a mask on. Uh, we also want to have social distancing within the library, so we encourage patients uh, patrons to be six feet apart when they visit uh, and that that goes for both staff and patrons when they're visiting uh, we will have no seating in the library so we encourage you to browse briefly when you come grab your items um, and go ahead and check on out the library but we will have our stacks open for you to browse because we know uh, we know how fun that is to do in the library and we're looking forward to be able to reoffer that to you um, we will not have meeting and study rooms available for at least the next few weeks. We, um, as I mentioned, we're, we have unique challenges in staffing and cleaning and opening up those rooms at this time, uh, we think is gonna be a bit of a challenge. I'm hoping that we can get those reopened in the not too distant future, but um, that right now, uh, those are going to remain closed to the public. Uh, computers are going to be available by appointment. We know how many of you have been uh, really wanting to get into the library to take care of some necessary uh, stuff that you need to do on the computer, we're aware of that. Um, you'll be able to contact the library and make computer appointments that you can get back on to do printouts, uh, what, uh, use word processors, uh, just you know, uh, all the different things that you normally use our computers for. Um, we're going to continue to have online programs, um, so those will be available to the public. We're going to continue uh, that great slate of programming that we've had. So we will continue to have those. Uh, and as always, we have our digital library. Um, we, we're going to continue our curbside service as well. We encourage the use of that, encourage the use of the digital library, uh, particularly for those who maybe don't feel comfortable coming in the library. Maybe they can't come in the library. Maybe, they're, maybe it's just a convenience thing. Curbside is going to be available. Digital library is going to be available. So you can continue to use those services. And we encourage you to do so. Um, We'll have more information on this on our website today, so take a look later. There'll be some more reopening information, and uh, keep taking a look at our website and Facebook page. In the coming weeks, we'll keep you updated with more information. Uh, there's a real interesting tidbit that's been going around. You know how uh, internet rumor starts, so I wanted to tape one down here uh, quickly. Uh, for our patrons, you will be in the know, our library patrons. Uh, there is a rumor going around that if you microwave library materials, uh, that that's going to be safe for you. Um, we discourage, please don't uh, microwave the items that you check out from here or any other library, uh, any libraries in our area or, or other libraries. Uh, you could start a fire. Um, a lot of books have metal, a little, little sliver, slivers of metal in there that they use for um, Tracking for um, uh, anti-theft, things like that. Those are in the book, you can't see them. That could cause problems with your microwave. And we also use RFID tags in our books. Uh, this allows us to check them out with ease. You've seen them, uh, when you put the books down on the plate, when you come into our library, you see how the computer checks them out easily. It's because there's a little uh, sliver of computer
computer uh, info in that book. Uh, that can cause all kinds of problems for the book, for your microwave. We don't want any fires. Do not microwave your materials. Um, that'll keep you safe, keep our book safe, and then you won't have to come into us with a heap of ash and say, this is my book, how much do I owe? Uh, just don't put them in the microwave. Uh, we are going to continue to quarantine our materials uh, for three days when they come back to the library. So we, uh, those items that people had in their homes, we're going to be quarantining those before we put them back on our shelves. Uh, we also have some other safety protocols in the libraries. So just please don't quarantine, uh, please don't microwave those materials. So we appreciate you joining us this week. We'll see you next Friday at 10 a.m. Thanks.